Hi, in this tutorial we are going to see how to assemble uh, worm gears inside space claim. We are taking this particular example from grabcat.com. Let's go to space claim and open the file. I choose step file as input. Basically, import the file, and we can just look around. And by visual inspection, we come to know that uh, the axis of the worm is not in the plane of center plane of the uh, gear. So let's align it first. So we select these two planes of the gear and go to insert and plane so that is done so we'll have to move this component now let's select this and make ohm let's rename it as gear click on worm move up to the plane okay that has been moved now we need to define uh, revolute joints for uh, gear and uh, worm. Let's create axis and select this axis and the cylindrical surface and create a line. Now let's create a planar condition. Create this surface, insert a plane, select that plane and the sur planar surface click on tangent so by combining cylindrical align and planar tangent we are getting a revolute joint here similar exercise needs to be done here with the ohm select this cylinder go to work axis select that axis and the cylinder click on align similarly select this plane insert plane with that plane selected select the circular edge face click on tangent so we are now set with two revolute joints and we just need to uh, create the gear condition so the trick here is to get the radius of a cylinder on the worm as well as radius of the cylinder of the gear that are touching each other and to determine that we select this plane and go to sketch let's go to look at view the radius of the worm cylinder is equal to okay let's uh, determine that distance between these two centers okay so let's select these two axes and go to measure it says the distance between the centers is 78.5 mm and we also need to find the number of teeth of the gear so go to selection tab and click on faces width okay let's look on protrusions okay that's not true let's select a surface and faces with same area so it's actually says 38 but let's inspect it and see to, uh, to cross check let's select the other cylindrical edge and uh, use all equal radius cylinders here it says as 40 so the number of teeth of this gear is 40 so with that we use in the equation for radius of worm so again we go there click on sketch go to planar view click on circle and the radius of the diameter of this circle is given by center distance that is 78.5 into 2 because that was the distance between the centers and we are now determine the, determining the diameter 
divided by 1 plus number of teeth in the gear that is 40 okay so this is the pitch circle of the worm so right click on the circle and click on construction on off so once that is done we can come to 3d view and uh, we select this circular surface and we just pull it up to say this circular edge so we have a surface cylindrical surface generated now we need to create a surface cylindrical surface for the gear for that let's select the center plane go to sketch and we need to draw a circle that is tangent that is just touching the warm cylinder okay this is it now right click on it and go to construction on off come back to 3d view we need to pull this pull both sides and arbitrarily you can move it okay so now we have two surfaces we move this one of the surface to the gear corresponding surface to the worm we just have to define gear condition between these two cylindrical surfaces so after doing that we can turn off the display of these surfaces click on worm go to move start moving it as you can see uh, rotation of the worm results in the rotation of the gear and the mating is perfect let's see what SC motion can do we go to SC motion start and uh, say we want to define rotation to the worm gear right click set joint input give a rotation of say 360 degrees per second and start simulation the same thing can be done using a C motion now. Okay. Thanks for watching.